Hey everybody, welcome back to Out of the Gate. I'm Justin. And I'm Max. And today it's just, just us. us. Molly's in the room, so Hi. you might hear some <laughs> random crinkling or moving around noises. Coughing. But... May go to the bathroom at some point, who knows. I want to apologize again. Uh, I had a little bit of emergency. Well, we could have done the show. I was actually waiting on him. No. But then he goes... No. Oh uh, well, no. You do. Do we want to explain this? I mean, it's your thing to explain if you wanted to bring it up. Well, no. I'm just talking about. Well, here, I'll go ahead and say it. But anyways, uh, I had I had a real uh, bad infection, way worse than what we thought it was. But it was in my knee and uh, needed to be done. But I didn't want to. Um, I knew about this prior to before last week's episode, or what should have been last week's episode. And uh, I was on vacation, so I'm not going to spend my hosp- spend in the hospital on my vacation. Two, it was Easter. Three, I had a lot of people from uh, I had family from uh, Nevada, and yeah, and it was mm-hmm. my cousin's wedding, so wasn't gonna waste it. And uh, I said, you know what? I'll wait till Monday after we record the episode. And I sat around, waited on Justin to text and say, all right, let's go do this. Cause... So that's what I was waiting on you because it was going to be on my way there. And then he goes, no, you need to go to the hospital. We're not going to do it today. So once you said that, my body was like, well, then we ain't getting out of bed. <laughs> and so that's exactly what happened. I stayed in bed all day. And I didn't get up. I got up at like 1.30 Tuesday morning, and I was like, all right, this is hurting a little bit too much. I'll go now. You needed to go to the hospital then. <laughs> well, see, it was funny, too, it's because at 1.30, you know, nothing goes on. So I think that was probably the best time I could have went in because I went in because as soon as I checked yeah. in, I went straight in there. Yeah, if you're going to the ER. And what was funny about that is is that uh, I just told him my leg was hurting. So – there's was like, oh, some crack. Because the way I was dressed, I looked like a crackhead. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so, you know, they just moseyed on it. We just moseyed on in there like, oh, he's going to be out of here in like 15 minutes. But once I showed him my leg, they're like, oh. And like, I soon enough, I had like five or six nurses in there trying to get everything ready. and Yeah, because it was bad, which yeah. is why you needed to go to the hospital instead of record. Well... Would have given me something to do but you while I was in the hospital. You had something to do. <laughs> no, I didn't have anything to do. We'll we'll go on. To, uh, I'll tell you the rest <laughs> of my hospital experience because I could have gotten in trouble, a lot of trouble, uh, this time around, just because of how bored I was. But uh, go ahead. Uh, I know you have some hot topics that you that we may want to focus on. Well, um, mainly the one is the whole Johnny Depp trial. So, uh, uh, for those people listening that don't know, um, it's a trial where he is suing her, he's suing Amber Heard, his ex-wife, for defamation. I don't know what that means. Um, lying and hurting his career. Well, that defamation was like pooping. No, that's defecation, which also happened, (laughs) (laughs) but we'll get there. (laughs) No, um, so... (laughs) Got her she, had, over here. she had accused him of abusing her and then they got a divorce and they settled it out of court or whatever and then she went to a magazine or a new, I think it was a magazine or maybe a newspaper and wrote an article about how uh, abuse or whatever and she didn't newspaper. name they Johnny Depp she didn't name Johnny Depp but like it was obvious she was talking about him so then right after that happened is um when Disney dropped him from Pirates of the Caribbean, and uh, wait, he was still part of that. Yeah, yeah. Disney dropped him from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, oh shoot, who makes who makes whoever makes the Fantastic Beast movies? Warner Brothers, maybe. 
Oh yeah. Um, they dropped him from that franchise. Like he lost a lot of jobs from it. So he's suing her oh, for yeah, defamation. Like Danny Master or Masterson. Mm-hmm. Like, and I honestly, now that I just thought about that, I'm gonna look that up. But I'm sorry, go on. Yeah. So uh, he's suing her for defamation because you know he lost all this stuff and she was lying about him. Uh, and now you know they're really going into the case or whatever, and you're hearing all this crap that she did. I watched a video on on uh, her attorney asking Johnny Depp questions, and it's just oh, like, yeah. oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, how and people are like, why has he got to be such a smart aleck to him? And I'm like, well, what from what he yeah, I'm like, how could you not be? <laughs> yeah, oh, I guess that's hearsay too. <laughs> Can no. you read that again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was, <laughs> that was I would have done the exact same thing. But yeah, so Amber Heard, she like beat him all the time. She like punched him in the crap. And then she uh, she threw a handle of vodka at him. And it busted on his hand and cut the tip of his finger off. Yeah, like, like down to the cut b- it down, off? down to the sever- like down to the bone. Okay, so he didn't cut it off though. Well, there was no flesh around it. They had to rebuild his finger, and the bone was crushed. Okay, so it wasn't off, but it cutting. Uh, well, it wasn't there. The bone was crushed. Okay. And the finger part was not on it. So it, like, shaved off. Like, shaved off his finger and crushed the bone. So more or less cut his tip of his finger off. Uh, she put a cigarette out on his face... She, uh, and then <laughs> my favorite, she pooped on his bed. Have you heard about that one? You know, honestly, that doesn't surprise they me. They got in a big old fight. I feel like that happens left. more often than what everybody thinks. Who poops on someone's bed? I don't know. Remember when Dil- uh, Dylan Wing had that one crazy girlfriend that sh- had shotgun or took a shotgun to all his bedroom walls? Yeah, threw threw crap on his walls afterwards. That's yeah, yeah. I, but, like I said, I mean, I, there's some crazier things. But she pooped on his bed, and then she tried to say it was the dog. And Johnny Depp was like, "I've uh, been around my dog's playtime enough, and uh, I know what it looks like, and that's not my dog." <laughs> <laughs> Because the dude's talking like he's high. He talks like he's a high oh, yeah, version of he, Donald he, Trump. Yeah, he's yeah. So funny. Well, that's like he he's like that all the time though. Yeah. And but it this thing is ridiculous, and he's hilarious during this. <laughs> like it's nice. It's 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 going to show. It. Uh, I'm glad that this is coming up now, right when. Um, I I hate to bring it back up because I know it's been the too, Will and Jada Smith. Yeah, because it. I mean, they because Will and Johnny Depp both have the same problem. Yeah, crazy women. Crazy women doesn't matter how how much fame and fortune you have, you, you still ain't happy. You don't have a good woman by your side. Yeah, and it's proven by just those two right there. Yeah, except Johnny Depp actually divorced his wife. And it's still a problem. <laughs> it's still a problem. <laughs> Oh man, the crazy one. But yeah, he's so fun. Like there was one where the attorney was asking Johnny Depp about this box. He said, "No, this box hold cocaine." Yes. Oh, and I saw Johnny that Depp one. was he like, was right. "It looks like it, it could looks hold, like it could." Hold, <laughs> hold, hold, look like it hold a lot of cocaine. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was great. He said, "Have you ever given?" Uh, uh, have you ever given drugs to Marilyn Manson or whatever? Yeah, I gave him a pill. He's like, yeah, I gave him a Just pill to get him to stop up. talking. <laughs> oh, thing's man. hilarious. Yeah, so it's a really, really interesting trial. I mean, it's actually pretty important, too, for, like, men's rights or whatever. Well, yeah, it's due process. It's finally something that's taken serious. Yeah, seriously. Because at, at one point, I thought, oh, that just went right out the window. Yeah. So it's uh, really with, good with, that this is With our happening. experiences with somebody. I'm not going to yeah. say who. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so Which it's... I, like I said, I'm, and I always say it, I mean, the the time that that was, we, I mean, he got lucky. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the way, just, 
it's really good that this is all happening right now. Yeah, because I think almost every man in Hollywood has been accused. Oh, it yeah. It seems like it. Oh, yeah. Drake Bell even got accused of being, or what I just heard is that he's going through something right now. I forgot if it's uh, sexual assault or something. It's just like, yeah. it, it, they're just picking down. I mean, I mean it, I'm not saying it, everybody's I'm not saying innocent. It doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's just weird that. It's all coming up all at once, and yeah, and nobody's and it's getting. To, and it's to people who don't like, who right. are nobodies. Yeah, you don't see Jennifer Aniston um, accusing Brad Pitt. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's like you get what I mean. Like, it's yeah. not a celebrity to another celebrity. It's always the nobodies because they have nothing. Yeah. And they're trying to get something. Well, Amber Heard is a celebrity. I've never heard of her. She plays um, Aquaman's girlfriend. Never even watched Aquaman. Oh. That's why. Well, yeah, she plays Aquaman's wife, girlfriend. When it comes um, to DC, I don't watch any of it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's oh, and is, ridiculous. And hold on, is that the only thing she's in? It's the only thing I know her from. Okay, then, again, she's still a nobody. She's part of the DC. She's still a nobody. Jason Momoa ain't a nobody. Okay, well, he also plays in, uh, what is it, Game of Thrones? He plays yeah, in actual in other Thrones. good stuff. Like, she's, in, she's in a lot of stuff, actually. Okay, let's see what's popular and what's not. Does uh, she play any? In, she's in Zombieland. Okay, that's not a big franchise, but. She's I, in Magic Mike. Okay, Aquaman, but. Aquaman. Family friendly Ian people Palmer's. who haven't seen that. Machete or mach- Machete Kills. Never heard of that movie. Yeah. Really? With Danny Trejo? What? Let With me Danny. See no, I never saw. Oh, that. really? Yeah. That's funny. Um, she's in a, she's in like a bunch of crap, actually. It sounds like she's in a bunch of boring crap, is what it sounds like to me. Oh. She's not Bobby a great Lance, actress. Zob- uh, she don't sound like it. Just by the sound of her name it don't sound like she's a good actor yeah she's not a very there's like them actor. actors you can just tell by by their name that they're not good actors yeah she's not she's not like, very good like at it. christian bale that sounds like a good actor yeah i mean and he is a good actor <laughs> ewan mcgregor sounds like a good actor yeah but yeah so i'm trying to think of a but see i don't i'm i am I was going somewhere with that, and then I can't think of anybody who's a bad actor because I can't think of their names. <laughs> yeah, because they suck. Because <laughs> they suck, and like they're not important, so I don't remember their names. <laughs> Jared Leto. What? Jared Leto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Or Jay Leno. No. Jay Leno. <laughs> Gosh. No, yeah. So that, that's really the only life. thing I really had to say on it. Is it's hilarious? Like I, I. I urge everybody to go watch some of the compilations of the things that Johnny Depp says on this thing. It's so funny. Also, you know, it's a really important case, and everybody should watch the whole trial. But I don't. I mean, I. If you. I can. don't know what. What are you meaning? It's important. It's like, imp- just because of the whole. For the justice system. Okay. Well. Okay. I thought you were meaning a lot. You, you, actually, you made it, um, the way you said it, you made it sound like men. it's it defines uh, America, what the result of this is going to be. No, no. Like no. as if it's the election or something. That's what it, you made it sound like. No, but it is really important for uh, uh, a good showcase of the way that our court system works. You know what I mean? And how it should work. It'll always be corrupt. I don't know what. I mean, it's a lost cause, in my well, opinion. Some lost causes are worth trying to change. I don't know. We ain't doing about, nothing about global warming. Haha. Uh-huh. I mean, they're trying. <laughs> they're trying, but they ain't going to get nowhere because it ain't happening. Nope. <laughs> but, yeah, so that, that's really all I had. Okay. Uh, there were a couple of shootings because subway shooter. Um, then there was another shooting at an airport. I think it was. I didn't hear about that one. Uh, Time to wake up. Huh? 
my alarm went off. I said it's time to wake up. Oh, yeah, because you usually get up around 4, don't you? 3.30, yeah. Huh. Um, but I don't know any of the real details because I, again, I, yeah, I really I, don't know much of the details. I've been in the it. hospital, so I mean, I guess I should have, but I've been watching that 70s show. Ah. I bought the whole series, so I was watching it at the hospital the whole time, so I was not focused on news. But, uh, let's go on to memes. Um, these memes are going to be a little bit old, about a week old, two weeks old. So, it's all right. Yeah. You know. So, there's going to be a lot of. Will Smith memes still? <laughs> no, they're going to be a lot of Easter me or some Easter memes. Well, yeah. Oh, and uh, happy late Easter to everybody since we yeah. didn't record last week. Yep. And again, sorry. And we'll we'll get into more of that precious four days that I had. Good. Um, but uh, let's go on to memes. Coming in hot. All right. Kind of hurt my throat doing that. Good. I haven't done it in a while. Jeez. All right. When you were tortured and publicly executed, and once a year everyone celebrates and takes a day off, <laughs> <laughs> explain a film a film plot badly. A man murders coworkers after he's denied a promotion. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have to go into that too. Uh, I've got something else for that. Um, when you're stuck in a traffic jam, but there's a dog in the car next to you. Yeah. That's how everybody is when... Oh my gosh, I just thought of a rant. Okay. Don't let me forget my rant. It's about red. Oh, okay. Okay. Him. Are you mad at me? Her. Nope. I even saved you some pizza. <laughs> Molly. There you go, Molly. There's, that's, a, there's an idea that, for that's you. That's Molly. She doesn't eat the crust off pizza. <laughs> The Mandalorian. Kenobi and fans. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for this to come out. Yeah, I know. And that's all I had. I'm so excited I mean, I have that. tons more. My archive has expanded way more just with this week off. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So that's, uh, that was memes. Not many because I was expecting to be, for it to be a fast, uh, episode Monday. Well, <laughs> sure went to the hospital. Wanted to record. I don't care what you wanted to do. Yeah, I do. You needed to go to the hospital. Well, I just wanted to make sure we, we need. I we need to get at least three episodes in per month so we get our money's worth to posting. That's why you I needed was... to go to the hospital, Max. I'm telling you what, my that that bill's already up real high, so Yeah. <laughs> uh so a couple of nerd out. We'll go to nerd out real quick. Alright. What do you think about the uh Thor Thor trailer? Looks yeah. pretty interesting. Looks pretty fun. I'm glad that Natalie Portman's back in it. I mean, of course, we all knew she was. Right, but, yeah. Uh I was surprised that uh they brought back the original uh, Milner. Yeah, I know. It's, I, yeah, it's so like you can actually be... tell that it's the original one so, that got forged back together somehow. So my question is, I'm seeing a lot of things on a lot of comments to saying she's Thor. So are they going into some kind of? She's the a character. She's the mighty Thor, is what she's called. What on earth is the difference? Uh, she's Jane Foster with Mjolnir. She's just Thor. She has Thor's powers. So anybody but... with Thor's hammer is Thor. Has the powers of Thor. Well, but why is she called Thor is my, is my, where I'm confused at. Because I had to call her something. Jane Foster, she already has a name. <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to say, so does the Thor, mighty but Jane. his name is Thor. <laughs> the Mighty Jane, or the Mighty yeah. Foster, I, I don't, don't know. know. She has to have a superhero name. Oh my gosh. But it looked good. Uh, yeah, it looks really fun. Uh, with Guardians of Galaxy. Now, do you think they're going to be in there half, 25% or the whole movie? I say 25% tops. I bet they're not in it much. I was going to say half. Half. Okay. Just because uh, I just don't see them just, oh, dropping him off and, no, oh, okay, we're going to leave. Like Yeah. And then, so I guess that makes Guardians of the Galaxy 3... Thor's not going to be in it. 
probably not. I'm going to say no. And probably they just drop him I'm off thinking. like like they did. Yeah. I'm thinking they probably they probably he's probably not going to be in Guardians 3. And then now we, so I guess the main villain is going to be Zeus. No. Uh the main villain wasn't in the trailer. It's Gore the God Butcher. No. Yeah. What Zeus has to get what Zeus has to be uh what's his play in all this? I think that uh, I guess I bit. think that Gore is just gonna go kill all the, all the Olympian gods, he can't or whatever. Kill Zeus. Zeus is the most powerful. But Gore can. Uh, I guess I don't know who this Gore is. He just goes around killing people, like killing gods, and uh, so nowhere where the collector lives, the severed head of the celestial Gore killed him. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know what the backstory is going to be with him, but I I would assume that the Olympic the Olympic gods are just there to be killed by Gore. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I don't when it whenever it goes into Jane Foster being Thor and all that, I don't know that timeline after that. I I Thor isn't I'm not I wasn't into Thor comics as everybody seems to be or I guess everybody else is. Yeah. So I'm I, not huge into it. I just know stuff from watching videos. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I mean, I a lot of my stuff that I know, I know from the comic books that I've read online and cuz right, there, there yeah. are copies online. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't really read I've never read any Thor things honestly. Yeah. Cuz well, I mean, now Hulk, now I read all of those. Yeah. Spider-Man, that's all mine. But once you get into Thor, I don't know any of his timeline stuff or yeah, villains. No, I only know what I do from watching videos. Okay. So, all right. Um Of course, we got Doctor Strange. I'm yeah, we got Doctor Strange. That. We're going to still yeah, still going to be interesting. More and more stuff. It's coming out here soon, right? Like a month. Mm-hmm. Oh, everything's coming out in like May. Yeah. Uh, and then they pushed back um, uh, uh, um, Jurassic Park, yeah, or Jurassic, Jurassic World Park. to June. Did they? Okay. Yeah, because it was supposed to be May. It was supposed to be May twenty sixth, and now it's June twenty sixth. There's a lot. I yeah. saw that Saturday when we went to go celebrate Chase's birthday. Mm. It was they already had the poster up that said June twenty sixth. So what? Chase, when is when's Chase's birthday? It was Saturday. No, it wasn't. The twenty third? Yes. Oh. I should probably text him. You and didn't? Too late now. <laughs> Happy late birthday, Chase. Yeah, Love he, you, buddy. He don't listen to this. <laughs> no, I'll take it back. Yeah, he does. Shoot, how old is he now? I don't know how how old do you think he is because um my grandma thought he was twenty. No, he's he's eighteen now, right? Nope. Nineteen? Yeah. Okay, he's nineteen. Born two thousand three. Okay. My grandma my grandma said she had it written down and uh she came up to me uh, as I'm about to leave, she goes, Oh, by the way, he's twenty today and I go, Um, I think I know how old he is. He's three years younger than I am. Yeah. And uh she goes, No, I got it written down. I'm like, All right, <laughs> I'm gonna call Chase and we'll get this cleared out. He goes, No, I'm nineteen. She goes Wow. Huh. I go, okay. <laughs> so did she just think he was a year older? I guess so. Like, all the time? Yeah, <laughs> His whole I'm, time? I mean, nobody in our family's been born in 2002. Well, uh, Force Inside. I don't think he's, yeah. anybody's been born in 2002. Phillip was, Phillip was born in 2002. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that checks out. Cause I think that's right. Sounds right. If, I, if not, I'm wrong. That sounds um, right. But, uh, yeah. Well, happy late birthday, Chase. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Well, I don't have to tell him happy late. I already told him. <laughs> um, so, do, do you want to go ahead and say your rant before you forget it? Yeah. No, I got this. Because my rant's going to be mostly the hospital. Okay. Nothing bad about the hospital, but, you know. So, so you know, you know that Red is stupid, right? Both dogs, yeah. Yeah. So, um... I was taking them over to mom and dad's, and I had the windows rolled down in the truck. And normally, you know, they'll put like half their bodies out the window or whatever, but they're, they're, they stay in the truck. Well, there was a dog that Red saw. So Red, I had a hold of his leash while I was driving, and I was driving with my left hand. I had a hold of his leash to my right, 
jumps out the truck window. And because I have a hold on his leash, truck is moving. Jumps out the truck window. About 20. Oh, that's not 25. Jumps out the truck window. Because I'm holding onto his leash, he hangs himself off the side of the truck. (laughs) So I slam on my brakes and I let him down so he can touch the ground. And then I buckle the seat or buckle the leash in to the truck so he can't like run off. And then I have to pick him up and shove his fat butt back through the window. When was this? Uh, Thursday, Friday. It was Friday. Oh, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Friday. This last Friday. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you doing with? It? Where were you going? Mom and Dad's. Did you have off or? No. Oh. We just go over there before. Because they got that fenced in yard now. So yeah. I take them over there on Fridays. Yeah. Your mom wanted me to go see the fenced in yard. I was like, well, I'm actually on my way to go celebrate Chase's birthday, but I'll, we'll see. It. I can <laughs> see it from here. <laughs> yeah. No. So, yeah. Jumps out the window. A moving truck. Who does that? How stupid do you have to be to jump out the I'm mean, And he was perfectly fine, too. The dog straight up hung himself off the side of my truck. Perfectly fine. Hmm. Like, I checked and made sure he was breathing fine. His... Neck didn't seem to hurt. It was working right. No bruises, nothing. Watch. Next time you go to the vet, he's going to get an x-ray. Yeah, he's got three broken vertebrae. <laughs> yeah, so that, 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 that's my rant. Well, my dog sorry, is so I dumb. Try to, try to hang him. <laughs> didn't work. Didn't work. He still lived. He still lived. He's, yeah. t- he's so stupid, he couldn't kill himself. Cash sat there looking at me like, what in the world just happened? I'm like, just, just stay in the truck, Cash. <laughs> I'll take care of this. <laughs> I'm so glad there was nobody outside watching that. Because I thought oh. that was hilarious. <laughs> you probably would have gotten something called. Oh, yeah, I sure would have. <laughs> Where were you at? Uh, Columbia. Oh. Yeah. So, you know how on Columbia there's that dog? Uh, they've got an electric fence. Mm-hmm. Like an invisible fence or whatever. And then that dog runs around. It was that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, he saw it and just... Clearly jumped straight out the window and just threw it against the side of the truck. Good thing you had, I mean, <laughs> so you had a hold of it? Yeah, I had a hold of it because like, While I was, you were driving? Yeah. Well, that don't sound safe at all. Well, I drive with my left hand anyway. I like always drive with my left hand. Yeah, but I mean, imagine, I mean, imagine if it was cash, he would have pulled your butt to, all the way to the other side of the truck. Not really. Red's stronger than cash is. Strength doesn't matter when you got gravity. It depends on your weight. Oh, you mean when he made it out the window? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, honestly, Red ain't that much lighter than Cash either, though. I mean, he, he is uh, I can lighter. Tell you right he is now, lighter. Cash has got at least forty or thirty to forty more pounds. No, he doesn't. Does. Guaranteed. No, it. he's got like. When is the last time you took him to the vet? Cash. Both of them. Red hasn't been to the vet. Oh, well, there <laughs> He's you go. going here soon. You can't say anything until you weigh that dog. No. Uh, you cannot say anything. I, I guarantee promise you, you. I promise you. I promise you. you Cash has 20 pounds his, tops. I 20 say, pounds I'm, tops. My tops is 25. Mm-hmm. I will give... I'll get... Or, sorry, no. My minimum is 25. Your minimum is 25. 25. I don't think you realize how dense this dog is. <laughs> I don't think you understand, like, how much, like... And his Cash dog. doesn't weigh that much either. Cash is 78. Right? No way. Yeah. He's got to be up in the 80s. He's 78 pounds. <laughs> How do you know this? You never weighed him. He's, He's been to the vet. Oh, I'm, I'm taking Cash. Okay. Yeah, no. Cash weighs I was 78. Like say, I was like to say, Cash has got to be at least 80. No, Cash is 78. Yeah, Cash doesn't no weigh way. that much. I don't believe it. He, he can, is. Well, I can tell you right now is that... Either red, red doesn't feel because I can pick him up with one arm, so he is not that he is not that heavy. He really is. We're just weak. <laughs> no, he really is. He's about as heavy as Cash. Need arms, <laughs> but uh, that's not the point. Point is, dog's fine. So, not mentioned Cash probably would have touched the ground anyways. Yeah, Cash probably would have hit the ground. Yeah, his feet would have touched the ground anyway. I still stand. My my point still stands. He would have, if it was Cash that had done that, 
your you would have probably went out the door, window with him. I, I don't know. I've seen him pull you on the ground. Yeah. I've seen him pull you. I I even though that strength wise, I still think if with the momentum momentum and to to jump out the window seeing him jumping out i guarantee you before his neck even leaves he, the amount of power it's going to take for his legs to push his body out that window it's going to and you not expecting it either like not i mean it would jerk me for it. sure i wouldn't have flown to the other side of the truck i think you would have or at least you you would at least, your head would at least hit the door no. Yeah. No, I would have stayed in my seat. I guarantee you I would have stayed All in right, my seat. All right, well, now now uh, we got to go do this. We got to go throw Cash outside the window with you holding on to him and see what see, happens. See, that's the thing. Cash won't jump out the window because he's not an idiot. <laughs> he is an idiot. He's just not that much of an idiot. Cash? Yeah. Cash is a genius. What are you talking about? Seems stupid to me. That is a smart dog. Cash got himself out of the kennel, went over... And got red out of the kennel. Both kennels unlatched. He didn't force his way out. He unlatched both kennels so and got him out. he figured it out. Because he's he, smart. He figured it out. And if you were to lay a... You can't figure it out unless you're smart. That's not true. Y- yes. Yes, it is. I've seen kids who can make skyscrapers out of blocks but won't know how to write the letter A. <laughs> Sometimes the things you say. <laughs> I mean, you can learn how you can figure out how to do something, but could be completely like dumbfound of everything else. He's, he's not cuddling. though. He hasn't figured out how to cuddle yet. That's the one thing he's bad at is cuddling. He just lays on top of you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think he'd pull you to the. And I guarantee you, I, I got at least one person who knows you on here who would probably say the exact... And, and have seen Cash. I guarantee you, I, someone's got to agree with me on this one. If I guarantee you, your dad would agree with me on that. I promise you he wouldn't. He knows what he's like, what they're like. I, I guarantee... Which, I think I'm if Cash, if so Cash let me make it So drum. let me make it Listen. clear. Let me make it clear real quick. What I'm saying, Cash... Yes. Momentum, mm-hmm. gravity, uh-huh. and you not bracing for like you are not you are you are completely like you're, right. You're singing Miley Cyrus, like I don't know what you're singing to, but Purple Rain or something. <laughs> you are completely out of it. You're just holding, <laughs> and it. I'm like, yes, that is what no. I'm seeing. Cash. Now, if you braced for it, yeah, I can see you no. being able to stay in your seat, but like. You... Cash would, Cash would, if he hit the ground, he could get the leash out of my hand. But if he was just hanging off the side like Red was, it wouldn't. It'd have been fine. That's the. Th- but what I'm saying is the what I'm describing. He would hit the ground because you'd be to the door. You, your arm would be hanging out the window in my from what I what, what kind of what grip I, do you think I have on these leashes? Doug, I've seen the grip you've had on these leashes. They're not very good. Exactly, the leash would just slide through my hand before I go through the. Yeah, but like it's either gonna be that, or if you do, if you do, just so happen. I mean, you're you're to the door. The leash is still sliding through my hand before I before I move. Yeah, what. I still don't get why you hold the leashes like that. You need to have it through your wrist and grab it by... Yeah. Yeah, till they rip your hand off doing that. Try walking both those dogs same time one-handed. Okay. Like that. See if you don't... Yeah, no. I have no problem doing that. You would have a problem doing no, it. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Molly. <laughs> Of course, I'm not. I can't do that now because I can't lift any. <laughs> I can't lift or pull anything over 50 pounds with this arm. But I, really? I mean, 50, I can still do it. 50 pounds is the limit. Yeah, 50 pounds. Pa- well, less for than that. for the for the week, and then oh. I think I can go back to what I'm doing. Really? Yeah. I'd have thought that would put you on a higher restriction than that. 
Uh, oh, honestly, I don't even enough. remember. I don't even remember any restriction the last time I had a pick line in. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh? Because I mean, I was lifting box. Well, you remember? Yeah. I was lifting boxes. I was doing everything normally. Yeah. But huh? It's interesting. Yeah. I mean, restriction wise, yeah, restrictions are. You really uh, don't have a whole lot. I don't have. I don't. The only restriction I uh, got restricted today. I found out my restrictions today for my leg because mm-hmm. they. Uh, the hospital didn't want to put me on it because they didn't know what it could be because I guess the surgeon didn't really c- communicate on what um, what all they did or what they cut and all that. Um, oh, by the way, they had to cut all the way to the bone for this. Yeah, it was a lot worse than what we thought. I just thought it was the skin. You know why it was worse than what you thought it was, Max? Because well, you waited to go to the hospital. Look, I I could care less on what on what I do, but one thing was for sure: I was going to that wedding and supporting my cousin. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So I already put it, uh, RSVP. So <laughs> that's the all last right. thing I so, need is to have his wife come at me. Well, if you knew you were gonna go to the hospital, you should have shouldn't have put an RSVP. <laughs> Because at the time I put that down, I already knew I had the infection in my leg. Yeah. So. So anyway. What anyways, are restrictions? Uh, restri- uh, my restrictions is not landing hard. Not oh, yeah. landing hard. Not like, I. So you know them videos of the kids that like, they jump up and you watch all their, like every piece of fat from their face and neck, like. You never seen them in slow motion videos? Oh, okay, yeah, like the slow motion. Okay, what videos. they're gotcha. doing is they're they're not landing on the ball of their foot, they're landing on their heels. So yeah, all that yeah, shock, so it's coming down. Yeah. That's what the doctor's meaning. So like no jumping like that or no hard mm-hmm. landings. Right. Uh, honestly, I can do everything. No problem. I can bend it. Like I thought with these staples in my knee and I'll I don't know, should I show a picture on this? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. No one wants to see that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Did you? Oh, you didn't see it? No. You haven't seen. Oh, well, now you, no. No. no it's too I'm bad. not looking at a picture. No, that's too bad. I am not. Okay. Yeah. See, someone does. It's honestly not bad. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna look a lot worse. Well, what do you think it was gonna look like? I don't know. I mean, it makes sense that that's all it looks like, but yeah. So I'm gonna show that's a, a picture. Lot of staples. Yeah, I know, right? If you are squeamish, I mean, there's no blood or nothing, but it's not the best thing to look at. <laughs> yeah, and so what's funny about that is where that spot is. It matches to my other leg. Oh, does it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's you're getting off. Topic. Keep getting sidetracked. Yeah, I keep getting sidetracked. But uh, uh, I was back at the restrictions, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, but my restrictions also come with it's more I get more restrictions on bathing than I do anything else. Right, yeah. So like I can't take a shower because of my pick line. Right. Like, I can't even cover it up because it's gonna cut it off because I've got an artery right there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and I can't take a bath because I can't have any you can't what? watch it like sit in it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean I guess I could hold my leg but that's a pain <laughs> I mean, that, this is yeah. awkward no, see it's taking so, washcloth baths yeah I'm taking washcloth baths and dude that's the weirdest thing like not having water run down you yeah. you're just wiping with a, a wet rag it's just the weirdest <laughs> I thing I feel like it doesn't work it works it doesn't. as well right I'm waiting I'm waiting on next week because once next week they take these staples out I'll be clear to yeah. at least take a bath right and so, just keep your arm out of it yeah so it's just a matter of time of like just getting through it. <laughs> so weird, dude. But yeah, uh, this this uh, this hospital hospital. How you say it? Hospital. Hosp- well, hospitalization. Is that what you mean? Ho- yeah, hospitalization. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that. Um, I I'm surprised I didn't get kicked out of the hospital because why's that? Oh my gosh, I was causing so much trouble because I like. I'm to that point that I've been to the hospital so much is that I know what I can and can't do. Yeah. And I know what's funny and what's not. So there are a lot of trainees, trainee nurses in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And so you could tell, like, they're confident, but somewhat nervous at one point. Mm. And so 
They'll be like drawing blood out of my IV or something. I'll be like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my, oh. Oh, I love doing that. It's hilarious. Or uh, they'll be they'll be pushing out my site of the uh, surgical site. Oh, yeah. All right, you just let me know when it hurts. I'll just scream blood, yell bloody murder. <laughs> oh my gosh, does that really hurt that bad? I'm like, oh no, it feels fine. <laughs> oh, it's great. Um. But yeah, not not much happened other than um, Jordan, Beasley, and uh, Weston all came all visited at the same time. Yeah, that one. Oh my gosh, was that fun? Yeah, we and see, and it would have been nice for you because we're, I was in a corner room, so oh, so I couldn't. Uh... Yeah, so there were no dead people for you to say. <laughs> no dead people to talk about. Talk about. <laughs> oh, he's okay. We, we all brought that up too. <laughs> but yeah, we were so loud. We ordered pizza. I mean, it was we literally had a party in the in the. How ho- late were they there? Oh, I I think it was till like eight thirty nine o'clock. When did they get there? Five thirty. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jordan got there or Puma, whoever you guys want to call him by, but he got there at like five five thirty. Hmm. Yeah, he was there for a while. Uh, well, JC also wasn't home, so it's not like he had right, anything yeah, to go home to. to. So, uh, yeah, Beasley got there after work, so he got there after work, so he's covered in mud. So there was mud all over the floor. <laughs> I felt bad for the cleaning lady who had to mop it. Um, so the night before so this is my rant so the night before um, this real nice nurse I mean of course they were all nice but uh, this one just didn't care because it's night night shift and so she was was good with everything because she knew it's a leg it's nothing important you know it's nothing it's it's nothing critical right (laughs) so she was just like well you just let me know uh Everybody sleep. You're the only one. I was literally the only one up, supposedly, because I was night shift. I mean, shift. yeah, you're night shift. <laughs> so I was up watching, and so uh, she goes. I mean, she came in like without me even asking. She'd come in with like ice cream and like, here you go. I know you're hungry because you, you've been up for two or three hours. And like, I was, I was hungry the first twenty minutes. I was up. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, she, uh, I guess I had to, even though I was walking around and they had orthopedics come in and walk me around the hospital floor. Yeah. Uh, they still required me to have them blood thinner or blood like the ha- not have blood clots sitting in the because I guess if you sit for so long in a bed oh, it causes okay, blood yeah. clots. Even though I sat in my bed for almost four days straight. Yeah but you got up and did stuff. Oh, no, I'm talking like I've done it before. Like, oh. Okay. Like not gotten out of bed, and I was perfectly fine. Anyways, she gave me the option to take that shot in the stomach or in the arm. I'm like, oh, do it in the arm. Yeah, 100%. Right. And Dell Del and Weston were there. Weston, you know how he is. He's like, he had to, he had to leave, almost yeah. had to leave the room. And Dell's like, just sitting there watching. Like, All right, put it in. <laughs> She goes, boy, you didn't even <laughs> flinch. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's the arm. So, um, and she goes, yeah, I figured just do it now. It wouldn't hurt you. I'm like, all right, thanks. And so, so the next night, not her. It's completely other nurse. Mm-hmm. And she goes, all right, I got another blood thinner. I'm like, another one? I've gotten up a lot today. Yeah. And, uh. So, and it's in front of all the guys, including Weston. And I thought Weston was going to throw up. <laughs> and um, I'm like, all right. And so I'm rolling up my sleeve because I'm thinking, oh, we can, you know, it's a. Well, it's another arm one. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go with the arm again. She goes, what are you doing? I go, well, getting ready for shots. She goes, oh, no, you got to take it in the stomach. I'm like, no, nah, I, I got a little rude. I'm Because, <laughs> yeah, I, I did get a little rude. I go, wait, hold on. They gave me, I was given the choice, and I was told that I could get it in the arm. Why can't I get it in the arm? She goes, well, I don't like giving it in the arm because it's not very effective. 
The shot, the shot period isn't very effective. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I got so mad too. I and I, like I said, it, I she didn't deserve it of me getting angry at. Right. But at the same time, it wasn't needed. No. She could have just let it go. It wasn't needed. I was perfectly fine. She didn't, it's not like she had orders to give it in the stomach either. So she could have right, done it in the yeah. arm. So That was just a preference. When it thing. yes, when it comes to a personal preference on someone else's body, I don't like that. Especially when you don't have a per when you, yeah. you're not you don't have like that personal Yeah. Like you don't know what's effective to somebody's body. Everybody's body is different. Yeah, fair so enough. So that Again, like I said, I did apologize to her after the fact of getting mad, but I think somewhat due process. It, there's, there's a, it's you had a reason side. to be aggravated. I, I had, I don't get aggravated a lot unless I have the reason to be, and that one really set me off. And I'll tell you what, that shot bothered me the whole night. Did it? Yes, and it was, it was painful. Like. I mean, it sounds awful getting a shot I, in the stuff. I literally called him in. Like, I, you know me, I don't call for right uh, pain meds, but I was like, yeah, I need pain meds, like, now. And they're like, yeah. is your leg hurting that bad? What's the... And I said, no, it's the freaking shot you gave me. Mm. And this freaking stomach... I mean, it bruised up my stomach, too. Really? Yeah, it was... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she hit me in the wrong place on the stomach know. or what, but... Yeah, it was not enjoyable. That was the worst part out of being uh, in the hospital. Huh. So, other than that, it was just me messing around, unscrewing things, like unscrewing the seats. <laughs> I was probably wasn't smart either. What part of the hospital were you in? Same one as last time? Uh, like no, I was. Uh, I was in the older rooms. Okay. So, um, which I I I was glad because I brought. I had dad bring that '70s show. It was a disc. Oh. The new the new rooms don't have a disc player in it. Really? Take it, take it, take it, take it. Put it on speakerphone. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Hi. Max says hi. I heard her. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm doing good. Um, literally the day. I uh, was getting released. I jumped on the couch without even thinking about it. I was like, oh, well, I'm surprised I'm not hurting. But, yeah, I've been jumping around, running. No, oh, that's good. Yeah, so I'm good. We're Hopefully uh, the schedule for us will be a little woozy. It, it's literally all on Justin right now and Weston, I guess. Um, yeah, if Weston ever shows back up. Well. We have had. We've had some weird We could have done it yesterday, but Justin wasn't. He, Justin was tired, so yeah, I was real tired. So we didn't do it yesterday, even though me and Wesley could have. You guys could have done it without me. Yeah, except me and Wesley both wanted to go fish. We took the, we we saw the opportunity to go fishing. So oh, you guys okay? Yeah, so we all went fishing instead. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> I didn't go fishing with Weston, but I texted Wes. I'm like, hey, do you want to do the show without Justin? He goes, well, it's kind of a nice day. And I said, good. I want to go fishing too. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, that's how it went. He goes, well, it's a nice day. I go, good. I want to go fishing too. <laughs> and so that's what we both did. Fair so, enough. but yeah. Um... Oh, another another quick rant. I know you want to get going. But... Oh no, no, no. That's not what I, I was going to say. Something, but I forgot what oh, it was. Uh, so you're good. <laughs> uh, on our way home, or on the way back, uh, I went fishing with Cheyenne and Spencer. Which Spencer listened to one. Of, he forgot what episode he listened to, but. He didn't describe it, but he, I guess he's going to get to listening to this now. But, oh, that's good. Uh, anyways, he, um, we're, we're riding. I'm in the back of it. I'm in the back with Drake, which is his dog. And it's Spencer and Shine in the front. We're coming down Main Street, coming up on the uh, funeral home. Yeah. Kaler's. Mm-hmm. Um, not, we are cruising. Just cruising. That's it. Right. So it's, we're not. He's not hitting the gas. His his truck is loud. Right. But he's not hitting it. I mean, we're just sitting and listening to music. All of a sudden, this car pulls up, starts speeding up next to us. 
not the driver, the passenger, windows down, passenger, uh, has her head below the window, so she's like, almost like, laid back, laying down, the the seat was propped up, but she's like, sunk down on her seat, and she's flipping us off. And so... (laughs) Oh, so I so I see it and I'm like, oh, it's Spencer. Spencer know, must know that person. Yeah. So I, I said, hey, Spencer, I think someone wants you. Joking around, and he goes, he looks over, he goes, and I'm gonna censor this, but right. he goes, who are you? What do you think you're doing, flipping me off? I didn't do nothing. And he, and the driver go, and we're thinking, oh, it's joking. Driver goes, it's her. I, I have nothing to do with this. It's all her, and. And like, uh, don't get all mad. And we're, uh, and so I'm like, I'm gonna stay out of this. And yeah. like, Spencer goes off. He said some things that maybe he shouldn't have said. But really? Oh, yeah. So did it, you figure out why she flipped him off? No, we we had we, we had no clue because we had to turn off, and which is probably a good thing. Because he, yeah. he was, which I mean, I would have too. Yeah. No reason to be doing that, especially when we're not doing anything. Right. Now, if we were like being obnoxious, being obnoxious, I could see them doing it. And right. I would understand, but yeah, I, I, you're not doing anything. Not doing anything. Literally, listen. I think we were listening to uh, Glenn, uh, Glenn Campbell. Oh yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not like we had anything loud playing. So right. Um, yeah. Huh. Yeah, he was like, you know, you're in Boonville. You could get that. Get, that gets your butt like run off the road. And I said, I, I go, well, really, I've been throwing pennies at him. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get mad at somebody throwing money at you. <laughs> no, that's that's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know why people need to be like that. He goes, stuff like that, stuff that interesting happens to me all the time. I go, really? Well. Why? Why does that happen? Maybe to because him? he's from Tecumseh or Heritage Hills. I was gonna say stuff like that doesn't really happen to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I the, probably the most interesting thing that or interesting, but most road rage I get is people that pull out in front of me. But that's yeah. it. That's that's the only thing I get. Yeah, no, and, I do get and pretty. And angry the things at that people, do happen I don't really do anything. Yeah, the things that do happen though. I understand why they why they do that stuff because I'm being obnoxious. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So yeah. yeah, if somebody flips me off or something, it's not normally doing something. Yeah, <laughs> like okay, you know, you deserve that. Did you figure out what you were gonna say? No. Oh, I had something. Did I did I mention that my uh, whole rear end went out? No. My truck. Really? Yeah. So I always uh, it's been vibrating for three or four weeks now. Mm-hmm. The I thought it was the front of my truck. Uh, I thought it was the tire catching the bumper, which after I was thinking about it, I was like, well, wait a second. I've had this, yeah, had, had that bumper, bumper on for a, for a while. I was like, well, maybe I, maybe a bolt loose and I hit a pothole or something. It just dropped. But no, um, I had my grandpa look at it. He goes, no, that's, that's all coming from the back. I was like, oh, oh maybe I have a, Maybe I have a wheel bearing or a... Yeah. Uh, C- oh, really? I thought it was a CV joint that was giving out on oh. me at first. But then they said the back. I was like, well, the only thing it could be is a... Like a wheel bearing or something. Wheel like bearing. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I took it into Doug's and he goes, your whole back is shot. I was like... Oh. And he goes, yeah, the whole... It, it, it looks like it cracked and then your gear snapped. Nice. Yeah. Which... He goes, and I was like, well, what could I have done to have done it? He goes, well, it looks like it was wearing down. I mean, you got 200,000 miles on it, and you got them big tires on it. So, yeah. like, okay. So, yeah, I'm getting... No, what you're doing is your bonus. <laughs> well, luckily, it's not that much. It's only 2,500. Oh, really? Huh. I'm very surprised. And it comes with warranty. So, if it happens again, well, I go. get it for free. Ha ha. So... I'm being a little bit more reckless with my truck. No, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're being reckless with your truck. I believe it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was funny. I was driving uh, Spencer's truck the other day. He goes, give it power. Come on. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. I, I treat, I, I will drive any vehicle like it's my own, and I will not do that. Right. If not, any more care. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, his truck was... It's a gasser, but man, it had a lot of power to it. What is it? It's a just Chevy Silverado. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's 1500? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it had, I mean, it's loud, too. I don't know what he's got underneath it, but... Hmm. Yeah. Um, I think that's everything I think I we've, ca- say, I think I we've caught think... up on everything. Oh, uh, Derek Schuler, You remember him? Derek Schuler. You're great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... He said he listens. To, he's listening. He likes it. He said, "Keep it up." Really? Yeah. He thinks huh. it's hilarious. We're hilarious. So nice, Derek. Thanks, thanks for Derek. listening. Thank you guys all for listening. Yeah, everybody. Kind of consistent get, here. He's lately. supposed to be deployed here soon too. Really? Yeah, I think in June or July. Hmm. So, well, I wish you the best of luck, man. Yep. Uh, but yeah, thank you to everybody who's listening. Sorry again that we're skipping weeks, but I mean. We're going to try this to be one, as, as this consistent one, as possible. Yeah, this but. one we actually had a good excuse. On, yeah. Well, I mean, again, it could have been done, but again, I'm not pointing any fingers, Justin. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think everybody that listens is going to agree with me that you should have just went oh, to the hospital. Oh, please. <laughs> please put it in the comments. I want to know. I, I wish I could put a poll on our video just to see how many people agree with you and me. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, we appreciate you guys' uh, support, continued support for yep. it. Um, even though, I and mean, we're gonna try to make it as normal as possible. Yeah, again. our my it's been crazy here. My lately. schedule, our schedule now is gonna be a little crazy on recording because I I have to get. Oh, uh, I have this little ball with me now with a pick line. I don't know if y'all are interested. I have this little ball that's with me. Requires a fanny pack. So if you ever see me with a fanny pack. It's because I have uh, He's doing IV. it for fashion. Yeah. He thinks it's a fashion. I need a turtle. I need a black turtleneck, <laughs> tissue under my arm, <laughs> jeans, do the whole rock, <laughs> rock picture. Anyways, but yeah, I, without this, without the uh, uh, fanny pack, I feel like, I, I said it before you did. You can ask Brandon. No, but, I, 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 I bet you did. <laughs> I feel like the ood, which I'll, I'll have, I'll have it pulled up to you guys to see what that looks like. That is what I feel like. I feel like that, or I feel like a, a, a twenty-two year old with an umbilical cord still attached. Is what I feel like, <laughs> honestly, it's what it feels like. You know, have you ever gotten a really, really bad fight? You could just oh, swing I'm, it around and smack somebody. Yeah, with it. I mean, literally, I could play catch with you right now with it if I wanted to. Like, it's it's not all that. Uh, man, if I took the cover off, I could. <laughs> well, don't. I don't want to play catch with your <laughs> medicine. Ball. Yeah, your medicine ball. ball. <laughs> it's a legit medicine ball. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. All right. Well, so uh, I think we got everything caught up. Uh, hopefully, next week's will be a lot better. Because yeah. we should have everybody. Um, right. Well, we'll have to record, you said later? Later. Why later? Later on a Sunday. Oh, oh, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I figured we record later rather than before. Because he's, no. Oh, because he has uh, to go get that. Done. Yeah, at one thirty. Yeah, we can record later. I, I think say, that was But the wedding game Sunday, I was about to say. Yeah, I think it'd work better if we record. Oh, yeah, Brandon, Brandon is getting married this week. I'm, yes, he is. So, uh, so early congratulations. Oh, I was about to ask a real stupid question. I caught myself. What I was, was about it? to ask what you, what are you gonna wear? What are the colors? I need to know this too. Hun, do you know the colors? Navy blue, cream, and like light pink, and like. Um, I thought you're. Do you want the actual names of them? No, it's I just champagne, want... merlot, and rose are the colors. I wouldn't even know the. Okay, what? Navy, it, Navy blue and pink. I thought for some reason your dresses are going to be like She's salmon. Not a bridesmaid. She's not a bridesmaid. Oh. No, their colors are champagne. So it's like a off-white, off-white color. Oh. Like a... Oh, okay. Well, then, because I, because me and Jordan thought it was like salmon, like a dark salmon color. No. And JC had just bought a dress that was like a little reddish brown. Yeah, that, Jordan and, and I had talked about. This. Yeah, and he goes. And uh, he goes, what are the colors? And I go, well, I'm, honestly, I don't know, but I think that dress looks pretty close to the bridesmaids. And yeah. he goes, and he goes, that's what I thought. And no. So, well, good. JC will feel good that uh, she ain't going to interfere. I'm on my hand. Now I really, I was just going to go as a 
long sleeve shirt, like a you know dress shirt, and jeans. That's what I was gonna go. Don't wear jeans. Well, then, you know what? She should tell me this stuff. I've been at church for That's two... That's champagne. Oh, oh, that is actually pretty close to her dress, then. Hers is a little darker than that. Well, I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not a big deal. It'll be all right. Uh, you know, I can't... I don't have any... Like, that's why I wore jeans. I Like, my suit... Oh, yeah. Like my flex. suit doesn't fit anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I those don't even, my cargo is the only things that fit that are khaki. Yeah, I wouldn't wear cargo shorts. <laughs> Why not? I wear a car. I wear cargo. I wear cargo shorts and a a Thano mask. <laughs> you seen that picture? No. Where the, there's a guy sitting in the front row at a wedding, and there's oh my gosh, can you believe that guy in the front? And there's in in the background, you see somebody sitting in the very back row with a. Thanos mask and a, and a gauntlet. <laughs> but, uh, so no jeans, huh? I wouldn't wear jeans. If you really can't find anything else, wear your best pair of jeans. Yeah, well, that's that's what it was going to be. It was going to be jeans, a uh, long white shirt, and then, well, th- now it's going to be a long white shirt and uh, uh, my blazer. That's That's my... That's my all-time attire right there, like my wedding attire. Can guys wear white to weddings? I don't know. I don't know if guys are supposed to wear white to weddings. That's what I wore at, um... We both wore white at his wedding. Uh, Lucas's? No. Oh. Uh... Oh, Reed and Linda. Yes, Reed. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was thinking Ken- or Kenyon. For some- I, was like, I don't know why I was thinking K. Hey, it... But yes, yeah, we, yeah. yeah, we both wore white to that wedding with blazers. We did, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, white's all right to wear if you're a guy. Just don't wear, wear, wear like a blazer. I guess it. I better text her because that's the last thing I need is to her to flip out. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. Gosh. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sitting in the very back anyways and staying at my table. Yeah, I'm sure. So, and with it being outside. Yeah, the reception's inside. Yeah, where is the I reception think. at? For there, Friedman. At Friedman Park. Do they have a barn? They have a indoor center, yeah. When when did they build that? It's been there, hasn't it? No. Everything used to be uh open. Everything was open at one there's point. A, there's, there's a, a there's like a big building, right? Mm-hmm. Wasn't there when we had our church picnic there. Was it not? Nope. Oh. Unless it's in a different location, but on that strip, there is there was nothing there other than yeah. open site. No, okay, I don't think it's over in that area where we had our church. Okay, picnic. I think it well, is farther back. Further back, like behind the lake, because that whole strip, Maybe? that whole strip has had nothing on it. I don't know exactly where it is, hmm. but I don't know. I just got to show up, not lose the ring, and make a toast. So, yeah, <laughs> you should you. I've thought about it. Okay. <laughs> I've thought about it. Dude, that's, I don't that's know if I'm going to, but people. I've thought about it. That's the best thing. We, if you are not catching the the look, I know you don't have we don't have a camera in here for you guys, but the one look, we both have the exact same idea is to act like he lost the rings. Yeah. No, uh, just like a quick pat. Like, yeah, like, oh, huh. <laughs> No, I'll turn or, pull, rest, or pull, pull out like the groomsmen and be like, "You guys have them, right?" Yeah. <laughs> that or pull out like everything else, like hankies and like <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Pull out a ring, pop, be like, "I got it." Yeah. <laughs> yeah popsicle ring. <laughs> ring pop. Oh, here you go. <laughs> That's what we do your wedding. Even Please though I, even, even though I may not be the best man, I'm still gonna I'm gonna be like, oh, he he set the rings for you. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Like purple or red. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, I figure it's about um, time to I, close yeah, up Yeah, I guess I've ever. Te- I guess, should long. I text Brandon or should I text? Oh, well, I don't text know. Hannah. Don't text Brandon. Brandon doesn't know. Text Hannah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going. Yeah, but Brandon will say, I don't know, text Hannah. Or let me text Hannah. Don't ever ask the guy for advice like that. He doesn't don't know. Ever ask the guy. All 
always. But it's not like I'm in the wedding, though. Yeah, but he doesn't know. Yeah, because Brandon doesn't care less if you're wearing jeans or not. No. I promise. That's why. That's why I want the excuse. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather get him in trouble than me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, I mean, I, I, I better stop. I'm, I'm, I'm about we need go, to close I'm about, up. Yes, I'm about to go into a rival. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Have a great week. Yep. You t- see y'all. I about said you too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, all right, see y'all.